welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I sticky note my books and this was a highly requested video actually kind of just like in between a lot of people were commenting on my videos asking me what the little tabs in my books meant um, and also on Instagram when I post pictures of my books you can always see the tabs so I would just thought I would do a video kind of um, just like telling everyone why I tab my books, how I tab them, what I use, just some tips, and if you want to start tabbing your books, because I know that a lot of people have seen it as like a method to uh, mark down certain things in their books. For me personally, I am a book reviewer, so I think it's easier to tab my books, kind of put mark the most important points and yeah I'm just gonna go over that in the video. I will leave like little section with little times about what I talk about. But the first thing that I'm going to show you is some books that I've tabbed because, ah, okay, so I have a few books here. So all together, lined up, they look really pretty, like it just looks like a rainbow. This is what they look like. I know, I'm a crazy tabber. Um, but yeah, these are the, my most tabbed books. I do have a lot more books that are tabbed in my bookshelf. Trust me, there's a bunch. But the first one I have here is Ars Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjam Benjamin O'Leary Sands. And this one is posted um, like that. This Then I have Arena by Holly Jennings, the ARC version, which has just minimal post-its, but still posted. Then my all-time favorite, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which has post-its, which are, look so cool because of the black. So look like highlighter colors. The next one is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, and look at that. Um, and the last one I have here, because I really want to show you guys this one, because especially with fantasy books, oops, I just dented my book, um, is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, and that is just overflowing to the brim with post-its. But yeah, so today I'm just going to go over my method, how I posted it, what my post-its mean, and tips for people who want to start posting and tabbing their books, because it definitely didn't just come to me as a reader. I never posted it when I was reading when I was like a child and when I was a teenager. Um, so like I started post posting I think when I became serious about book reviewing and yeah I'm just gonna share some of my tips so let's get started. So the first thing I want to go over is the post-its that I use for my tabbing. I use a um like okay over the year that I have been posting and tabbing I've learned quite a few things about um, kind of investing in a good like good tabs and everything so the first tabs that I have here are these and I don't know if you can see them because there's like none left but this one is like a plastic one it has like a this what is this called like a plastic material it's not paper actually it's kind of like a plastic thing this one I love to use because they're a little bit translucent so they look really good in books but like once again, they're also not really like good to use because they're super expensive. Like I think one pack of th these go about for like two do two dollars. So that is quite expensive if you're if you're like me and you post it a lot and you want to invest in something that's really cheap and really easy to use. So. I actually just picked these up because I am running out of post-its, like I have none left. Um, and these are the post-it page markers um, in the four colors, and I think four colors is really great. Like for me, each color represents something different. I will do a Q&A on that later. Um, there is a Q&A section to this, by the way. But I just get these four color page markers because I think that four colors are a great way to easily remember and kind of mark down your feelings and stuff. Um, and you don't want to go over four because then it gets hard to remember what each color stands for. That's just how I roll. But so basically I have like, how much do I have? I have six of these right now. Um, and these are a dollar each at Walmart. Um, so yeah, these are really affordable. I will put links down below was where you can buy these stuff in bulk because I know they have that. But I just like to stock up every now and then when I go to Walmart because Walmart's cheap. And I just like to stock up on post-its because yeah, they're affordable and these are awesome. So yeah, so that's what I use personally. You can use really anything. Like I used to use these ones. Let me show you. I used to use these ones, which are a little bit chunkier and fatter, but I thought that if you're the kind of person that likes to write a lot on their post-its, I highly recommend this one. Personally, I don't. I like to write quick notes. Like sometimes I write curse words or sometimes I write like, like, aw, like that kind of stuff on my post-its. So I'm not really like a huge writing on post-its junkie, but if you're into that, that's totally fun. So jumping into the Q&A section of this video, I asked some questions on Twitter and Instagram um, as to questions about like my post-it marking techniques and if anyone had any questions and a lot of people answered so I'm going to get into that now. 
So the first question is from Bookstorm, and it's she asks, what kind of stickies do you use? Do you ever take them out? Are they color-coded? Do you write notes on them? Do you actually go back and look at them? All right, we're just going to take this one at a time. So what kind of stickies do you use? I just explained that. Do you ever take them out? No, I do not take my stickies out. When I take pictures for Bookstagram, I leave my stickies in because I think it's a really good conversation starter, um, but also that like I'm not just going to take them out to look pretty in a photo. Like That's not my main goal. Um, are they color-coded? Yes they are color coded. I will talk about that later. Do you write notes on them? Yes, I do write notes on them, but I, I'm not like a huge person. Like I don't stop reading my entire book to write like a whole paragraph. I just stop to write a few quick notes about what happened, if something surprised me, and yeah. And do you actually go back and look at them? Yes, I do look at them. When I'm writing my reviews, I look back at my post-its because they are just great ways to kind of refresh your memory, but also when you're writing a review, or more than often when you're talking, like me on booktube, then you want to make sure you have notes to refer to and I think this is a uh, tabbing is a much like more efficient technique than stopping to write in a notebook or stopping to take notes I feel like that's a little bit more drawing your attention away from the book whereas a sticky literally like just me it's, it's not even like frustrating or distracting I just take a sticky out put it on the page and write a few things and then I'm, I'm done like it's just common sense right now it's just like my common like you know what does I call it? It's just my like routine now. Um, so this next question is from Lost in a Bookish Collection and she asks you color code your tabs. <laughs> we'll, we'll go over that later. You know what? Let's just skip this question for now. Okay, it seems like everyone has a lot of questions for my um, color coding. So I guess I'll just jump into that because you know what? That seems like the biggest question right now. So what I have, the, co the color, color coding is I have four colors here. Um, each color means something different. Um, I don't have like a specific color set. Like people ask me like, oh, do you have like a specific color set for everything? I'm like, no, I don't. My main two colors that I use like on and off, I mean not on and off, like I use so often in all my books and I know the meaning of is pink and, or red, if you have red, and blue. So pink means always romance or someone's kissing or someone's proposing or anything has to do with romance that I think is so swoon worthy and that I think is so cute. I marked down with a pink tabby um tabby and yeah that's just basically here let me show you an example of that so I bet you all have read A Court of Mist and Fury but as you can see there are a lot of pink post-its especially on chapter 55 um but yeah I just think that pink post-its are most efficient they're really visible they're really easy to connect with like the emotions of love and like you know romance so that's the pink one the blue one is just for anything that I want to bring up back in my review so like again here there's a lot of blue post-its I do find that my blue post-its run out first because there are just so many things I want to mention in my review there's so many really important things to the plot that kind of stuff is marked with a blue tab for me and green which I have finally now established is for something that like surprised me or something that like just a plot twist or something that really scared the shit out of me like you can't really see here because it's kind of mixed up with the yellow but the green one there's very minimal amount there's not that many but I there are some parts of this book where just shit just happened and I was like what like I was just so confused and so surprised so I put with a green tabby um, and yeah and then the orange tabby I haven't really given given like a like a concrete thing or meaning or emotion but the orange one I just use if I run out of blue post-its so yeah that I already know what it means myself and also I write notes on them so I won't forget or anything but the orange ones just don't aren't as important as the blue ones if that makes any sense at all so we're going to go into A Court of Mist and Fury and we are going to look at some of the things that I've written on my post-its because I just feel like that's the most like the, the most important thing to me, what I write on the post-its. Because when I look back in my books, I normally go for the blue post-its first to write my review um, and I just read little what's on there and then I kind of get like the entire idea of the story and I kind of get what I want to write about. So I guess we'll go into like the first one. Um, let's see, some of them I didn't write on it because I was just like, okay, this is better so, okay, so in this one, this might be a spoiler for the second book, so if you haven't read this book, A Court of Mist and Fury, don't listen on. Um, yeah, just wait till I'm done holding up this book because it might be a spoiler, but on page 123 of A Court of Mist and Fury, so on this page right here, I wrote, I put a blue sticky and I wrote, oh my, OMG, what, Tamlin. So if you've read the story, you totally know what that means and you know that it plays a huge part or role in this book. Um, so I marked it 
it with a blue tabby and I just wrote, oh my OMG, what Tamlin? And I'll show you a little close up later, but that's what I wrote and that helps me kind of remember what happened in this story. I don't know if it helps you, but you can basically write anything, just anything to fit the post-its. Um, and yeah, I just write things like that. And then here, let me show you a post-it here. So on page 291, let me just mark this page because I know I'm going to show you guys later. So on page 291, I put a pink sticky and I wrote hashtag face sand because that's romance scene, guys. Um, so yeah, it's face sand, which is the ship name for Feyre and Ryson. So if you know that, then you'll definitely know why I put a pink sticky there. But that just helps me kind of um, also because like I'm a huge sucker for romance. So when I want to reread these romance parts, romance parts, I usually just go back into all my books and look at the pink stickies or the red ones, um, and I just read all of them, and they're just super cute and fun. So yeah, that's basically what like what I write in my stickies. Um, yeah, I think I basically like answered everything. I don't really think there's anything else that I have to mention. If you guys have any questions down below, just let me know. But yeah, I think these are super affordable. I think they are really good. I just think they're so worth it. Um, also because there's so many of them. Uh, let me see how much is in here. There's 50 each. 50 actually lasts me quite a long time, so I don't know why I bought so many. But they were on sale, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to buy them. But yeah, that was all I had for this video. If you have any questions about how I tab my books or anything else related to book reviewing, just leave your questions down below because I will answer them in a jiffy. And yeah, I just really wanted to film this video because a lot of people were requesting it. A lot of people kept asking me and I get tired of just like answering, not that I get tired of your comments, but I just don't want to answer the same question five times over. So next time I'll just refer people back to this video. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below with any questions and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.